Is there actually a connection between color and sound? Did you ever associate sounds with colors? Some people do this all the time. I'm one of these people. Melissa McCracken creates extraordinary oil paintings from what she sees in her mind when listening to jazz music. Or like Steve from Adelaide, Australia, who paints abstract paintings while listening to shoegaze music. Seeing colors when hearing sound is a type of synesthesia, also called chromesthesia. The American musician and artist Scott Cortes named one of his albums Pink Shiny Ultra Blast. It could be a sign that he experiences this type of synesthesia as well. An ambient music project of him is called Polychroma, which also is a suspiciously synesthetic name for a music project. When I create music like shoegaze, ambient and noise, it often feels exactly like painting. And I truly believe also people who didn't experience that connection can learn to paint with sound. In this video I want to describe the sound to color synesthesia by painting a sonic artwork with you at the same time. In this specific example I use a guitar and four effect pedals and turn them into metaphorical painting tools. And I hope by the end of this video you will be able to communicate your own emotional stories by drawing colorful abstract paintings from almost random sound layers using a guitar and stomp boxes. Hey everybody, it's Kenneth again. Welcome back to the Shoegather channel. Synesthesia is something when you connect two senses that actually don't belong together. When I think about time, time in my head is always visual. I see time in colors, I see time in distances. The Monday starts very close in a blue tone and the further it goes to the end of the week to the Sunday for example, there is more distance and I see more yellow colors. So Monday starts with blue and the week ends in a yellow color. This is something that I see when I think about time. This is some kind of synesthesia. The same thing goes for sound. When I hear music, I also see colors. When I was writing music together with friends in the practice room, I sometimes described it like, hmm, could you play something more blue? Or could you play it a little more warm, a little more reddish? Some of my bandmates didn't understand what I meant and they thought I would be crazy, but I guess I'm not the only person who experiences senses. What we hear and what we see and what we feel, what we taste, all this is interconnected with each other. Shoegaze music and ambient music in general for me is like listening to an abstract artwork. Maybe you enjoy abstract artworks when you go to the museum. For me it's the same thing when I'm listening to music. I enjoy abstract music because it's so colorful and there are so many colored layers. Hearing is a completely different dimension of seeing. Yeah. Whatever. When you've been a child, you played with colors, with pencils and pens and stuff like that. You have drawn something in your life. Even if you have never touched a guitar or a piano or something, you understand what it means to draw something. Writing songs is nothing else for me like drawing. I just use other tools that make it possible for me to keep the picture in the end. If you want to draw a picture, the first thing that you need is something that you draw on. To make this possible I have here a looper by Digitech. A looper can record sound and play it over and over again. It's a little bit like the ghost trap of Ghostbusters. You're catching the ghost here. A little phrase of sound. So you can say that the looper is actually a blank piece of paper to layer your colors on. When I see a color I also hear a note. Every color that exists could tr be translated as a note. For example, there is a C major scale and you play every note like C, D, E, F, G. Every note is a different color. The higher the note gets, the brighter the color gets. This is my scale here. You can throw different colors on a picture. Here is a little blue. On this side is a little yellow, this is darker, this is brighter. What would happen if you play a chord? A chord is as if you would take a mixing palette and you would mix different colors like blue, red and yellow together and you mix a new color out of it. This is a chord. Let's say I play a C major chord. This is a combination of three colors for me. 
that you can hear. But what I want to show you today is what artists do when they painting abstract art. They layering different colors in a completely random way, just how they feel on top of each other. And this is what I want to do with you guys today, just using my guitar and four effect pedals. We will layer different colors of sound. But before we draw something, we have to choose what we use to draw something. So do we use a pen, a pencil or a brush? What is it? What would you like to use? Playing notes on a piano is a little bit like drawing with a pencil. The note is very concrete. You don't have any possibility to bend the pen, you know? That's impossible. When you play guitar, you have the possibility to bend the note. So it's much more flexible. It's a little bit like using a brush. So for me, guitars are the brush in this case. It's very flexible and soft. You could use tons of different guitar models out there. I will use a Donner Telecaster today. It's a very cheap guitar. It's about 100 bucks or something like that. You can buy it on Amazon. It doesn't matter how expensive your gear is, just use whatever you have. Let's say I want to change the brush size. This is a clean note, but I can change the sound of the note by using, for example, a distortion pedal like this Hot Rod Distortion by Digitech. Now my sound is much dirtier. And by increasing the gain, I can decide how hairy my brush is. So I'm using a very hairy and fuzzy brush in this case. Okay, so let's say I want to mix the colors I play with more dark tones or more bright tones. For this I can use this pitch shifter pedal here. It allows me to translate the sound that I'm playing here one octave down or one octave up. Let's say I'm playing an E major chord. When I do this, I can play it one octave down. I can also uh, brighten up the tone by playing one octave up. And if I want, I can also mix these brightness into my sound. Or I can darken my original sound. So I will use this um, in the end to add some very dark notes on my artwork. For example, I can transform my guitar into a bass. I switch to the warmer pickup. This is a brighter pickup for brighter colors. And this is the warmer pickup for warmer and darker colors. So using this pedal I have something like a bass. Using my brush I have a very distorted sounding bass. What's missing now is dimension. So I want to create a room. I want to create something where everything happens in. Is it close? Is it far away? For this I need a reverb pedal. This E major chord is very dry. And now it's very airy. It also creates the impression that there would be a room around it. You can use any reverb pedal that you like, it doesn't matter, it's just the pedal I have at the moment. Or you can create an impression of a hall. Is it bright or is it dark? So we want it bright. The guitar is my brush. My distortion pedal is the size and the structure of the brush. This is to darken my colors. And this is to create a dimension. The looper is my blank piece of paper where I draw on. An abstract music painting is not just one chord. We layer all the colors at the same time.
But how can we do this on guitar? So now let's use uh, our dimension and our brush size. This is what we will do, we will reverse everything. For this I go into the menu here and I click reverse. And now everything I just did will be played backwards. So now we have our color layer. Let's draw something on top of this. To draw something on top of this uh, I will use a reverse reverb setting here on my reverb pedal. This setting is not creating a dimension. It's a little bit like water coloring. You take water and you paint on top of something very concrete like a structure or a line that you just draw and you're washing it out. Instead of having concrete notes like I will wash these out. And this is something I will use to draw a figure on top of the structure that we just painted with lots of different colors. So um, let's add some more. Now we just have layers over layer, but what would happen if we play a bass note below all these colorful layers? We will create the bass note with the warm setup of our pickup, with an octave down using the pitch shifter pedal. We turn off the reverb pedal just to have a very clear sound. So we also morph the Digitech pedal a little more. Now we have a very warm and dark tone. And with this very dark and black color we can draw on top of our picture and we can create a story.
So this is how we draw with music actually. This is how ambient and shoegaze music works. You're putting layers on top of other layers and you're playing a story with bass for example or with higher notes with shinier colors that's standing out a little more from this washy colored background. Maybe some of you guys were wondering do you use an amp? Yeah you can use an amp. It doesn't matter what amp you are using. Use whatever you like. I just showed you how it would sound without an amp so how the colors would look like directly out of the tube. If you're using an amp for example it's a little bit like you would use a filter like an Instagram filter or, or uh, a filter that you use in analog photography to give the picture another color. So every amp has another filter tone. Let me show you how this would sound if I add here an artificial amp on top of my recorded painting. If you want to support me in any way, just go to Spotify and listen to my music or just go to Bandcamp and download it. You can also buy shirts. My project Uncanny Valley has also some shirts here below the video. If this video was helpful for you, feel free to subscribe and if you like this video, give it a like. I would be very happy to welcome you guys here on the Shoegazer channel. It's a very creative channel for people who love art and music. I hope I see you next time. See you later. This was Kenneth. I wish you a beautiful day. Thank you.